boards are looking really good. Let me say this too, Ben, I think part of the deal why you are one of the coolest guys is you don't have that big head. You know what I mean? You're down to earth. You can talk to anybody. You know what I mean? But you are legendary from Hawaii, and we owe you a lot for just all your, you know, your shapes and stuff. And put, Innovator and of the Stinger, which we never knew how it really came around, but now we know. Surfing like a bee, stinging the wave, Larry Bertelman. But you know, you developed a stinger, the high wing up there, swallowtail, quick turning and stuff. I mean, uh, that's lots of innovations from back in the 70s and stuff that, you know, shapers, they owe you all the way till now. You know what I mean? Uh, I, th I think surfing for that, of course, you know, and thinking the guys who was ready for the challenge. Yeah, and you know what? Really. You were blessed to have some of the hottest upcoming guys, yeah. you know, Larry, Michael Ho, like you said, uh, you know, the Hawaiians just going off, but, you know, you're definitely legendary for, you know, styling those guys out, and actually, when I was a kid, you were one of my idols, too, because, dude, you would, like, throw the biggest turns and stuff, and when I heard of Ben Ipa, I'm like, whoa, that's a big guy, don't mess with Ben, that's one guy you would never want to drop in. On a wave in Hawaii, I'm telling you. And these, I know everybody else so would, crew, would agree he, with me. Legendary. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but when I met you, you know, you've got the most uh, aloha, you know, of anybody I know. And I got to say this, even when I do my competing and stuff, you know, NSSA, you know, I know that this guy is a genius on strategy, coaching, and stuff like that before my big eats. I run over to Ben. I go, hey, Ben, give me a couple tips. You know what I mean? Okay, big, you know. Don't go on every wave, wait for the set. You know, okay, right's looking better than the left today, you know, and you know, his knowledge and stuff is just impeccable. Yeah. yeah. It's so And uh, it all comes from the surface. Yeah. What, what I got came all from the surface. From even from an everyday surfer. Not a competitor. You know. I think what Fig's keying in on is your character. I mean, bar I, none. I have a character? You royalty. Like and you're willing, down to earth, you know, no ego. It's, it, it, it just becomes united, you know, and it's, it reflects on this whole industry. Oh, you man, know? I want to surf now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the water's a little colder out here than back in the light. Although we've been on a little warm spell though ourselves. I got an I got excuse. I got a bit back. <laughs> we all have bad backs, man. <laughs> yeah, I got bad feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, what a Awesome. Whatever. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Where is the, the original stinger from? I mean, are talk, they saying it right? Talk to him. Okay, you... here's the thing, okay, you know, that, that word sting got kind of thrown around, so that in the mainland they call it a stinger. The whole idea of that word sting came from this guy by watching him surfing in the lighthouse. Okay? He, he was turning and he was stinging the wave. That's how I came up with the word sting. Because Larry Berman was stinging the wave when other people was just Right, those low gouging cutbacks and uh, you doing turns that probably nobody else would do. All kind of like a beast stick. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm walking up the street, looking back, Larry, doing his thing. Oh man, he just stumbled away. No, no, he's stinging the way. <laughs> Pretty much what you're saying is revolutionizing surfing the way that we know it because guys were doing longer turns, but then you shaping the shorter boards, getting them down around like six foot and under, and Larry just, you know, having those new moves, low crouching cutbacks, exactly. just tight turns in the pocket, radical stuff off the top, is like the exactly. insane stuff that really pushed surfing forward all through the 70s and 80s, and what the guys are doing today, really. Larry was ahead of his time, just that the surfboard also had to follow him because he was creating this thing, but the object on the bottom of his feet had to go with what he was going for. And that's how the thing happened. You know, I really didn't know. He didn't know. I don't know. He was just... Well, I mean, Ben yourself, you've always been known as, uh, you know, a great surfer yourself. I mean, you, you've always been in your power turns and stuff, and then you got into shaping, and 
You know, you were like a mentor, coach to a lot of the Hawaiian guys. I know Larry and uh, Michael Ho rode your boards in the World Championship, I think, in 1973. I think Larry got third in that event, right? Uh, San Diego, yeah. Yeah, Oceanside and uh, up here. I remember that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, they were pushing the limits. And on your shapes and stuff, you could really work with these guys and, and really push the, push the ticket. I think it was a combination of the surfing that was, had to be met. Have to be met by uh, something under the feet to go with what where they were going. That's what it's all about. Because Larry started this whole thing, then buttons came in with a tricky thing. Then Martha Dell came in with the carving, low, smooth surfing. Then Dane came in with the power surfing. Right. All reflected off what Larry started. That's how I look at it. You know, and I was lucky enough to be there and actually shape the boards for these guys. Yeah, I was lucky enough to have him shape my boards. <laughs> Since I didn't know how to shape yet. <laughs> uh, there was an incident. Remember, remember up north we went to Ventura and Mike Purpose was surfing? Oh yeah, after the yeah, World Championship. We had a cutback <laughs> showdown. Oh, there you go. Of course, Mike Perfect had the cut back. And you know what? Yeah, and yeah. he did, you know, but he was the California boy up against the Hawaiians. Larry, oh, no, what happened? Larry rewrote the whole thing. <laughs> there you go. He rewrote the whole thing where the future of cutting back was going to be even more um, oh, something that's going to be used a lot. Not just free surfing, but of course, competitive surfing was coming in even more. So you look at the guys, what they're doing today. They're doing what he started. I gotta say that. Yeah. I'm not saying it because he's Hawaiian. He's Hawaiian. <laughs> because I think a lot, the there, a lot of guys out there, a lot of guys out there, they 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 know this. They know this. And you know, I like I like acknowledge this thing with Larry. Oh, I think you know. Really. But was it, it wasn't only really just cut back in surfing. Took that to the streets where they got the burn. Skateboard maneuver. Oh, I came that, off of the same thing. That's right. Yeah. So it wasn't only in the water, it was out of the water too. Yeah. But what, what, excuse me, what, what made this thing really good, these things came from Hawaii. <laughs> the yeah. Hawaiians kicked Jawaiians. it off. The Hawaiians. Hawaiian <laughs> power, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. mainland guys. <laughs> <laughs> but we own that. <laughs>
Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody want to know what was on my, what's, what's up with my surf I go, it's, it's time drill. I, it was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> I was surfing Huntington Pier. It was you. <laughs> For when this thing caught on in Japan, they had a hard time. <laughs> Rebel Rill, they kept saying Demo Rill. Yeah. Because of how they speak. No, no, no. Bello Rill. Bebel Rill. The better Rill. <laughs> <laughs>
Sometimes yep. a lot of servers are stuck in their old moods, you know. Right. He keeps on going with the criteria. And for me, being in surfing and something like surfing coaching and all that, hey, I'm so stoked to be alive to see this thing happen with Kelly. Oh, yeah, he's like I, a, I, a I, phenomenon. I get to see it. I'm waiting for the 12th world title. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay. He's in the he's in the hunt again this year. No, for a guy like that, okay, my oldest son, Akilo, he went and spent some time when he was a kid on the East Coast. Right. When he was in the teens. And you, Akilo, you know what I mean? I was announcing Bud Surf Tour for like, you know, probably 15 years, and he was on the tour, and he was always one of my favorite surfers. And I got to say this, man, he's got really good heart. He was yeah. always one of the coolest guys. Yeah. So where was I going with this song? <laughs> on the East Coast. On the East Coast. Hanging with Kelly. With Kelly. Then he calls me. Dad, I go, what's up? No surf here. And Kelly's surfing. I go, what do you mean? Oh, a boat goes by and he's paddling for the, the wake. I go, Akila, watch this guy. One of these days, this guy going to be something. From the East Coast? I mean, who's yeah, going to do something from Cocoa the East Beach, Coast? Cocoa Beach, you know, Sebastian Inlet, yeah. waves like this yeah. big. Who's, who's going to be world-class surfer for Yeah, I mean, you would think, hey, can he go over to Hawaii and surf and prove what <laughs> stuff is in the real wave, right? <laughs> there was an incident also in Hawaii. Let's say um, um, the photographer, I forget his name, was going to shoot some guys at, at back doors. Okay, So Kelly came down, we were talking, then he went down to the beach. Okay.